Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI celebrates his 70th ordination anniversary on June 29th. He was ordained to the priesthood in 1951, a day that marked his life. He remembers that the ceremony that day was long. He also recalls the dignified manner of the prestigious and older Cardinal Fallhaber who ordained him. The Cardinal made a lasting impression on him. His life as a priest was marked by that day in 1951. Since then, for Joseph Ratzinger, Mass has been essential, even today with his mobility problems. Unfortunately, he can't stand for that half hour, so he can celebrate Mass. He sits in a wheelchair next to the altar while I act as the main celebrant. We do this every day. There hasn't been a day since his ordination that he hasn't celebrated or can celebrate Mass. For this 70th anniversary, those who live with him at the Mater Ecclesiae Monastery inside the Vatican have prepared something special. Benedict XVI still doesn't know, but we've prepared a surprise for him. For him, surprises are always related to the liturgy. We've invited a group of former members of the choir from Regensburg who learned to sing alongside his brother. Now they are between 40 and 60 years old. Some of them will sing in the chapel during Mass. It's a special touch for Benedict XVI, as it's been a year since his brother, who directed that choir for decades, passed away. The Pope Emeritus is 94 years old and physically very weak, very fragile, but thank God his mind continues to work very well. Unfortunately, his voice is also very weak. It's difficult for him to speak, but he is in good spirits and says, every day I begin with the Lord and end with the Lord. We'll see how long it lasts. Archbishop Georg Ganswein was a key speaker at a conference organized by Rome Reports and the Joseph Ratzinger Pontifical Foundation to remember Benedict XVI's 70th anniversary. It's a day full of anniversaries. In fact, one of Benedict XVI's final public speeches took place five years ago, on the 65th anniversary of his ordination.